Hello, this is John coming to you from uh, Cross Lake Sales and Random Bike Parts again. And today we are going to be talking about free hub bodies. This is the part of your hub, your rear hub, that your cogs go on to. Uh, there's two different kinds. There's a free will kind. We're not going to get into that today. We're only talking about cassette kind. All right. And the cassette kind has the ratcheting mechanism as part of the rear hub, just like this. Uh, if you don't have this, you do not have a cassette hub. So we are going to be talking about speeds now. What, can, what speeds can actually fit onto this thing? Um, this one happens to be an 11 speed, but over the history, uh, this has just gotten, this was a lot shorter, and over, as they increased the gears, they've made it bigger. This part right here has gotten longer. So when they made seven speed, they made this approximately 28 millimeters wide from here to about here, just like that. So they kept this spacing just like this. This happens to be part of an eight speed, but the spacing is the same. So you got seven cogs in the distance from here. If you wanted to put a seven speed cassette on an eight speed through 10 speed wheel, you would need a spacer just like this. It's four millimeters wide, um, just like that. If you have an old seven speed hub, you don't need any spacer, but if you, you're very likely to encounter the eight through 10 speed all right, so now let's get on to the next part. When they went from seven speed to eight speed, what they did is they kept the spacing between the cogs the same, and they just added one gear. So when they made this, it was 28 millimeters wide for seven speed, they had to make it a little bit wider, that four millimeters, so now it's 32 millimeters wide. So that gets all your cogs on, like that. Okay, and if you have an eight through 10 speed hub body, you don't need anything. And then we went from eight to nine, they kept this hub body the same width. They didn't want to have to reinvent this part. So what they did is they added an extra cog, but the spacing between each one of these cogs got smaller. And that's why the chain got smaller. And then when they went from nine to 10, they did the exact same thing. Um, they had this, kept this the same, and they made the spacing between each cog smaller. All right, so when I say that if something is eight through 10 speed, if your hub is compatible with eight speed, it's compatible with nine speed, it's compatible with 10 speed. Now we're to the, this happens to be an 11 speed hub. Uh, this one actually happens to be 35 millimeters wide. So when they went from 10 to 11, they made this a little bit wider and they kept the spacing roughly the same. So if you have an 11 speed cassette and you wanna run 11 speed, you have to have an 11 speed hub. But if you wanted to run less than uh, 10 speed or less than 11 speed you're going to need something like this it's 1.8 millimeters thick it slides on and it eats up that little bit of extra space that you need so now I can run my 8 through 10 speed cassettes on here um, just like that and if you're going to be running a 7 speed on a on 11 speed hub you need this spacer and you need this one just like that and with that um, that's the end of our video and uh, Good luck and happy riding from Cross Lake Sales and Random Bike Parts.